was just taking a walk on uh, on the farm and then I saw these uh, shadows that was being cast on the ground uh, from the trees above so and I stood there for a long while looking at them and then I felt uh, a sense of relief um, and then it has a, a special feeling about it can't quite describe it so I was thinking about this for several months and then I was thinking I really would like to translate that feeling into an artwork. I um, got the images of like these uh, organic shapes and then um, matched them with the pentagon shapes, which is actually a sense of protection in itself. And then uh, we then cut the shapes out from stainless sheets and then we found the pivoting point and then we pivoted uh, all these pieces onto the perspex sheets and then in the wind it has uh, it moves very very gently and it gives off that same kind of feeling i can sit for hours here just looking at it and it brings you to a far away and a quite a different place and then when we actually started uh, putting it in different environments, like in the in in the greens on the farm, it just created like a portal. Um, it went beyond uh, the, the the place. So it is a it's a place that you can sit and uh, and ask yourself maybe those questions that uh, that you are thinking about but never really had real time to really think about them. So yes, it just helps you think. It's a quiet place to give you space to think. And uh, I'm excited about it. I'm very, very excited about this work because I feel that um, I'm able to translate something really physical, like um, a shadow, and, uh, and how the shadow comes to be. I wanted to create an artwork that doesn't use physical elements like a tree mm -hmm. but it should exist on its own right as an artwork so I think I was able to accomplish this with this one. Ayala Museum has kindly allowed me to use the Ayala Museum courtyard um, and uh, which is actually a very good place to display the place because uh, it has a chance to interact with the environment there and then it being semi-outdoor um, hopefully the, the winds and uh, people passing by will actually activate the, uh, the, the shapes which is pivoted so there will be movement. Um, hopefully I'm hoping that people will be able to take time out from uh, the bus busy schedule of crossing the street, crossing the mall and uh, and just spend a little time just to look at these these work and um, it's not a very invasive kind of uh, environment it's um, it doesn't really call itself out to uh, dominate a space but it just invites you to come over and have a look and then um, hopefully um, the, the exhibit being there for more than a month, hopefully they will come back, maybe bring their kids or their family, and also to have the experience. Okay, this is an example of a, a facilitator. Basically, it's a box made from galvanized iron with some crystals and other elements inside. You're supposed to uh, hone your vision by looking into the any of the holes of the facilitator and then of course you can bring it to different environments and you know, different light sources so you get a different effect so you can look into it and uh, what I'm seeing now are, are rainbows and different kinds of lights yeah but the nice thing about it is that um, we've done it in such a way that you can take a photograph so get your iPhone or any phone put it on your camera mode where the camera is, you attach it to one of the holes and it will give you an image of the inside of the facilitator. And then we're asking that um, you can take a picture of it. 
And the facilitator itself, it's, it's a sculpture, um, and um, it's really an interactive piece. But the artwork, the final artwork, is really yours. It's really the person with the cell phone taking the picture, which is, um, to me, is very interesting because um, it's, a, it's a good way of democratizing art. So um, I'm hoping that uh, even the uh, maintenance staff of Ayala Museum will come and try out the facilitator so that they can have uh, artwork that they themselves created. But because uh, we are exposed to art all the time, it's always around us. But this way, we can actually isolate it and uh, enjoy what we actually make. And it's very, very simple.